Okay, I'm a professor of geology in Istanbul Technical University. So show me uh, the risk Holds. here. So it comes up east-west through the bay, then makes a turning and follows the northern side of this Chinarchic Basin, then goes like that east-west. So we know the earthquake will occur on these faults, and we don't know when, it will occur probably within 30 years, and that's, that's the story. I will say one of the first uh, that may go down. Uh, what are the features that give you that uh, confidence? Well, uh, the structural elements, look at the columns. They don't look it's very a, robust. They, no, not only that. Uh, it's also, you have a huge mass up there, and yeah. then uh, this is what we call soft floor. Okay, and this shouldn't happen. This column yeah. and the, the, this wall comes from the basement, goes all the way to the top and uh, strengthens and at every column, uh, existing concrete, it has been anchored in. Children are our feature. Right. To retrofit the buildings, we uh, provide them a safe environment and strengthening our feature. As far as I know, it's uh, prepared to the most, according to the most dangerous earthquake. And hopefully nothing will happen after the earthquake. We will be here. It's an interesting situation living in an area where this is just part of life. Uh, yes. There are parts of the United States that are the same, have the same problem. Yes. So, um, but you don't think about it every day. Yes, but uh, we have a saying, we have to learn how to live with earthquakes. That become like a common saying after the uh, devastating earthquake, which happened in 1999 in the uh, Marmara district. And uh, we repeat this saying again and again. We are all afraid. It's not easy uh, to live like this. Uh, but we can go. The children is in the school, yeah. the husband at work, yeah. we at home, <laughs> right. where we can go. You see the city, it's a huge city and uh, there are so many areas like this that needs to be uh, handled, let's say. Yeah. Uh, so. And this is just to give them the most basic uh, capacity to respond. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's not like the and, south. But south. at least, you know, at, uh, you, you see people are discussing and they're talking about, you know, what to do and these kind of things. This is important. Let's see. Actually, we are somewhere here. I, I, and red means... Uh, red means uh, heavily damaged, a uh, number of heavily damaged buildings. Hello! 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 There's nothing fancy. There's yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. sophisticated, nothing, uh, you know, uh, uh, which requires heavy training. This is very simple uh, equipment, uh, easy to maintain. Uh, they don't have to spend much money about it. What they do need is basically change the batteries of the, all these uh, flashlights mm -hmm. and also, uh, you know, uh, the generator must be operated every 15 yeah. minutes or so. It's 
not as bad as it was in the 1990s, but still uh, people think that this is fate. This is this happened because Allah wanted uh, this happen or punished us or something like that. Training uh, 50 people in a neighborhood and giving them all these overalls and you know, clothing and other things, equipment. That's the easier part. The harder part is to keep them active and uh, to keep them disseminating this uh, whatever they learned to the uh, to the uh, to the neighbors.